I'm not asking you to speak to me, but I made something for you today. At first, I thought about going up and taking you the practice for a flower. But we can get not to flowers. They all die. Flowers are beautiful, but I'm sorry. Yang bilang habis lu baca surat ini tiba-tiba ter... Jadi gimana ini? Coba nanti dia. Ini dia ngomong apa? Jadi dia pertama kali. I'm not asking you to speak to me, but I met some guys. Yeah, I'm not asking you to speak to me. Cok, dia pulang. Kok, apa? Hah? Kalau kan, ada tanda. Ever since my first day working here, I've felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day, Things seem to be getting even stranger. I'd even go so far as to say creepy. I've been an embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Two of my colleagues have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Up until just four days ago, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura which traps and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear, and have at To make things even weirder, this place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. I was the first responder that day. I was the first and only person to make it...